What is up guys? My name is Ebenezer Friend Pong and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you my product testing strategy when it comes to Shopify dropshipping using Google Shopping ads. But before I do that, I've noticed a lot of people start to creep up on YouTube to teach Google Shopping and I just want to go on record and point out that I was here first. And without further ado, let's roll the intro and get started. Before you even run shopping campaigns, you need to understand that Google and Facebook are not equals. It's like barbecue sauce and ketchup. Well, actually, scratch that. <laughs> I think that was by far one of the worst analyses I've ever made. But what I'm trying to say is, you need to pause your Facebook mentality before coming to Google. Because here, we don't test products one by one. We don't have to. We don't make videos or pictures for our ads. Why? Because we don't have to. Our platform is much, much different. Your ad creative is pulled directly from your Shopify store. Your audience comes to you based on your product title and descriptions. No interest targeting required. Now, ideally for Google shopping campaigns, you want to price your products at $19.99 or above because you want to give yourself enough margin to play with. That's part of the reason why shopping campaigns are so great for high ticket dropshipping, but I'll actually talk about that later in upcoming videos. Now, yes, even though you want to price at $19.99 or above, that's, where, that's the sweet spot, you still want to keep in mind that you most likely have competitors, so you need to pay attention to them and price accordingly. Also, make sure your products are unique and specific products, products that don't have a lot of drastic variations. The reason why is because the more specific and unique your product is, the better your relevant search terms will be. This means more high quality buyer intent traffic and high quality traffic leads to a high conversion rate. Now I know you're probably thinking, okay, what if my product has different colors? Don't worry about different color variants because those are completely fine. And when it comes to shape wise variants, they're only okay if the product identity isn't affected by it. So let me go ahead and show you guys some great examples of all of this. I'm going to go ahead and head over to Google and just go to bracelets and then we're going to go under shopping. So this general term right here, bracelets has 135,000 monthly searches with an average CPC of $1.61. Now this information right here, I'm actually going to make a video on how to get that information and it's going to be the video right after this one. The person who typed in bracelets doesn't know what they want. And as you can see, various different variants and styles came up when I typed that in. This is what you don't want because if someone types in bracelets and clicks one of your ads like this and goes to your store, since they don't really know what they want, it's an interest click. They're just looking to buy, you know, so they're going to scroll around your site, then leave and then go to a different site, scroll, you know, cause they want to make up their mind. They're still shopping around, right? But let's take a look at a very specific and unique type of bracelet. Distance bracelets. This one has 33,000 monthly searches, average CPC is 44 cents, right? As you can see, most of the products that came up are all the exact same products. If you notice here, the color variants came up as well. That's why color variants are perfectly okay. As you can see here, this one's like a turquoise one and this one's a, a pink glowish one, right? But they're still the same product. So that's why color variants are completely fine. Now, let me show you guys some shape variants. So the glass blunt is actually a product that I've sold before. And this, I'm actually throwing you a bone. You can still go out there and sell this product. You can still go out there and sell distance bracelets. I, I recommend it, but don't all of you guys go try to go sell a glass blunt or a break or a distance bracelet. It's not going to work out for you. This one has monthly search volume, 110,000 monthly search volume, average CPC is 32 cents, right? This is the exact one I sold right here. The one with the rounded tip right here. So 
If you scroll down here, this is the exact same product, but the tip of it, the shape of the tip is completely different, right? But they're the exact same product. The product identity of the product didn't change, but the shape did. So this is completely fine, right? That's why that's when shape is completely fine. But don't go try to sell a product that's similar and drastically different. Does that make sense? Okay, great. Let's head over back to the slideshow. The key to shopping campaigns is search volume. If no one is searching for your product, you're not going to make a single dime. For low ticket dropshipping, you need a minimum of a thousand monthly searches on the broadest keyword. But like always, more volume is better. But your total search volume will exceed a thousand monthly searches, which is great, which is really good because there are other search terms that will lead to your product if you incorporate them correctly into your product descriptions or title. As you saw in the previous distance bracelet example, which had 33,000 monthly searches on just the term distance bracelet, there are other search terms such as stone bracelet that will lead to it as well, which all add up into your total search volume. For high ticket dropshipping, you need 50,000 monthly searches or more. And I'll go into more detail on that in upcoming videos. And I'll also have a video following this that shows you guys how to find the search volume of any product in any keyword and to find related keywords to it as well. Now with Google, you can start testing at $5 a day, but that's an enormous waste of time to me. Every campaign I create starts at $10 a day and so should your campaigns. You want to start with a general campaign with 10 or more products and set it to maximize clicks because you want to acquire visitor data for retargeting and maximize clicks has the possibility to get your conversions much, much faster. Set your max CPC to $1, which is just a starting point because once you start optimizing, you can lower or raise your CPC accordingly, depending on the data that you received. And earlier, I talked about having a big enough margin to play with. It's okay to spend within your profit margin and break even. That's completely fine because once you start optimizing, you'll be able to lower those costs down and you need to monitor your search terms very closely because that's where optimization starts. So search terms are not converting. Those need to be made into negative keywords. Your ultimate goal with this first campaign is to get 15 or more conversions. You're just trying to collect data and move from here to the second step, right? Where you'll create winning product campaigns and set them to enhanced conversions, which is where the magic happens. Enhanced conversions is where Google now knows, okay, these are the people who are most likely to convert. So we're going to show your ad to them when they search for your product. That's where the magic happens. And from there, we go into target ROA, which is target return on ad spend. So we go in there. After you have all this done and you have a profitable campaign going, right? You need to start aggressively optimizing, right? And by aggressively optimizing, you'll be optimizing by device, you know, subdividing products, experimenting different bid strategies. And I'll show you which ones to go for as well. Uh, and I just said one of them, target return on ad spend. And there will be videos on this in the near future. So this is my Google shopping product testing strategy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and most definitely subscribe and turn on my notification bells. See you guys next time. Roll model so hollow, shadow adolescents in the gaggle of them. Road to the riches, still paved with the ditches. Get caught up in the hype, your career's for a night. Ain't these other no block, Kadeem, just fake. They ain't popping shots, these niggas is popping that. If I ain't at the shine, beat me up in a rhyme spot. No cry till I'm in the pipe box.